I was raised in North Oklahoma City. There's so much satisfaction in dealing with these animals. Dr. Ron Boyer's office is filling up. This is Tala. With tiny survivors. That's just a laceration right there across her nose. But I think we're going to pull her through this. There have been some reunions since the storm. We found her owners. But most of these pets are still waiting for their owners with terror in their eyes. My impression of it is I'm, I'm just lost and I don't know what's going on. And I'm confused. This, however, isn't a story about the animals at the clinic. We have an old storm cellar. It's about the employees themselves. We're in the middle of working and kind of keeping an eye on the weather. And uh, then we could see it just right over there. The doc's assistant, Zane Mueller, and one son was here with me. Too, too close for me. All saw that twister coming right for them. I don't know, there must have been six or seven of us and, and some employees from the convenience store across the street. A couple of cars stopped in there and you could see the debris ball come in. It was a little scary there for a little bit. We were closer than we would have liked to have been to that storm. There were no lights inside, just a rickety ladder. So you can imagine 15 people trying to get down here as fast as possible. I feel like I'm going to slip. Yeah. And there's yeah. no wind blowing me. People were coming down a lot faster. Yeah, that's sure. for sure. Um, there, was, there was one child in here that I had to carry down. One of my receptionists, little boy. He's about five years old. He, he came down here with us. And my father held the door shut and there was a few ladies crying just because they didn't have their children with her with spotty cell phone service Jeff Boyer wasn't quite sure where his wife and son were until she sent me a message that I got right as I was going down yes I said are you out of there and she sent back in a shelter it got pretty hot down here and as soon as the noise died down gosh it felt like forever but it was probably five or ten minutes. There was one more text message from the other shelter. This is the picture my wife took. Staring right into the face of the monster, they all survived. That's, that's a mile away.